the Caesar of Concessions is back with another video. And we're gonna wrap up and do a full review on the Bill's Lemonade. This is the day after. Now, I had some people that uh, didn't like uh, the review that I did, and that's okay. Not everyone's going to like everything I have to say, and, and that's okay. But less about them, more about the lemonade. And if, if I'm going to sell it or if I could recommend it to somebody. So let's start off with this. The presentation of the cups is really good. I mean, there, that's, there's no getting around that. The, the cups look great. The presentation is, is really nice. Um, now, if you have a clear cup and you have a good presentation, okay, well, you've equaled this. Now, as far as bills goes and the actual taste of the product. Now listen, taste is subjective. You may hate onions. I like onions. Does that mean you're an idiot? No, that just means you don't like onions. I personally do not like products that have artificial sweetener in them. They give me an aftertaste. And that's what Bill's Lemonade is. If you do not like artificial sweeteners, you will not like Bill's Lemonade. Now, why is Bill's Lemonade such a big deal? And why am I even talking about it? Well, because it's a mix that, that people sell. So they, they buy these cups, they buy the, the mix, which contains sugar and a bunch of other ingredients, and some of them I can't even pronounce. And instead of sugar, they use that mix in here with the whole lemon, okay, a fresh squeezed lemon in there, and ice and water um, to make their standard lemonades. Uh, people buy this, and this is what they sell. I mean, they could buy smashers or wedgers or whatever uh, from this Bill's Lemonade Company and charge, you know, they, they charge a pretty hefty price for their product. Now, this lemonade for you is a dollar fifty. It's a 32 ounce. So it's gonna cost you a dollar fifty. Well we all know if you've been in the business any amount of time, you can do a standard lemonade, you know, with ice water, lemon and sugar for about 85 cents to a dollar. So you're losing 50 to 75 cents depending upon, you know, where you buy your lemons at and stuff, um, on each individual lemon you're gonna sell versus or lemonade you're gonna sell versus a standard lemonade. Um, the taste of Bill's Lemonade, to me, is artificial. And I don't like that. And, and I am not going to serve that to my... Why would I, why would I eliminate uh, what I would consider a fairly wide customer base that doesn't like artificial sweetener? Why, why would I make that my main thing? I, I wouldn't. Um, now, could you use it as a diet option as opposed to your standard lemonades. Well, sure, but why? Why wouldn't you just add Splenda or whatever artificial sweetener instead of sugar to it and do the same thing? I, I, I don't know. And I, honestly, um, it's just to me, just a good product. Is it great? No. Is it bad? No, not, not to me. It's good. Would I buy one? at a fair knowing or any event knowing I've already had one. No, I, I wouldn't. So I'm not, I cannot recommend selling the Bill's Lemonade over a standard lemonade because it's just not as good, bottom line. And that is to me, okay? You may think it is the best lemonade you've ever had. Fantastic. And, and if you do, I hope you sell a ton of them. And, and I hope you can feed your family off of it. And, and that's great. But for me, I think it's a subpar product over what I'm already serving and what over hundreds of thousands of other lemonade vendors are selling. I'm not going to go into competition against other, lem other lemonade vendors and sell what I would consider a subpar product. Bottom line, that, that's just me and the way I, way I feel about it. Um, now, to be fair, instead of the instruction said to quarter the lemons, and I cut them in half because that is how I serve my lemonades. I cut my lemonades, my lemons in half. 
and I wanted to try to replicate it as much as possible to the way that I sell mine so I know what I'm looking at. People said, Mike Caesar of concessions, you did not quarter your lemons. You really think quartering your lemons over cutting them in half is going to eliminate the artificial taste? That's not going to happen. The mix is the mix. You can quarter your lemons, you can cut them in ace, you can cut them in 16s. I do not care how you do it. It's not going to eliminate the aftertaste that a unnatural sweetener gives you. It's not gonna happen. Now, if I would have put the um, sugar mix, artificial sweetener mix in first, if I'd have put it in second, if I'd have put it in the last step, would that have changed the flavor of the artificial sweetener? No, because the artificial sweetener is what makes this lemonade. And I'm gonna be honest with you, they have a picture here, black and white picture. The clothing looks kind of old. I would say I am just throwing out a guess here, maybe 1940s, maybe 1950s, maybe. And they say they are staying true to their original recipe. Are you kidding me? Are you trying to tell me that the Splenda and stuff like that was around then? Maybe I wasn't alive then, but I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. So, in closing, no, I would not recommend Bill's Lemonade for anyone to sell. If you want to sell it and, and try it and go for it, do it. Go for it. Would I sell it? No. If it was a mic, should I sell it? No. It is just not a good enough product in my mind to put out in front of your customers knowing, doggone well, you can make something much better than that. Now, if you're worried about the calorie count, which that is a viable um, argument to Bill's. Bill's is very low on calories. So if you're wanting to serve something that is low calorie versus a standard lemonade, there's definitely an argument for that. But as for me, it's not a big enough argument to totally change the way I've done lemonades for 13 years. I'm not doing it. It's not worth um, mixing up everything I do to sell a subpar product. So as judge, jury, and executioner, I give it a seven out of 10, which means it's good. It's not horrible. I give country time a five. So it's a little bit better than country time. Yes. Is it better than the thousands of lemonade I've tried from other lemonade vendors out there? No. No, it's not. So, Caesar of concessions.